What's up, Bear Nation? I got a new saw, new to me anyway. I made a few cuts with it, and I wanted to show it to you. It's a steel MS-362. I used to have some 360s back in the day, two or three of them, back when wearing one of these was my full-time job. And uh, back when the 360 was the hot new saw, it was the bomb professional level saw, you know, mid-range professional level saw. Well, I got a 362 because uh, I no longer have those 360s and I just felt like I had to have one. So to add to our complement of steel saws, we now have a 362. Let me spin this around and show you what we're looking at and then uh, we'll make some cuts. I know, the beard is glorious, stand by. This is the steel MS362C. I don't even know what the C stands for. This is the one that they had at the saw shop when I went to go get one. It's got a 20 inch bar, running full chisel, steel RS chain, focus, there you go. Focus, there we go, there you go. I've made a couple of cuts in some hardwood with this saw, but not many. And we're actually gonna put it into some loblolly pine, see what she'll do. This is a 59 cc saw makes 4.69 horsepower factory and uh the power head is 12 and a half pounds without the bar you're probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 14 with this bar and this chain on it you can run up to probably a 25 inch bar on this saw and be well served you could probably stick a 32 on there but really you're going to be underpowered at that point so i've just got your standard 20 inch bar on here full chisel it's got the decompression button on it. It's got full wrap handles, which I really like. I'm a big fan of the full wrap handles. And other than that, it's a an essentially a brand new steel. Brought this, bought this new from the saw shop. It's got the elasto start right there. And um, like I said, I've only made a few cuts with it. So let's put it into some softwood, i.e that log right there and see what she'll do.
got one more. I love the steel RS pistol chain. <laughs> This saw rocks. It definitely pulls. It pulls very well, especially coupled with that chain. I can see that my chain's actually already a little loose, so let's go ahead and tighten that up. But let's talk a little bit about this saw. 59cc, 4.7 base horsepower. Um, is this the type of saw that I would recommend for a homestead? Well, not all homesteads are created equal. And not all homesteads are created, homesteaders are created equal as well. This is actually a good bit of saw right here. Um, I would say this is the top end of what I would be comfortable recommending to an intermediate saw operator. As you can see, it really bites. Tried to kick back on me a couple of times. Uh, perhaps because I wasn't being as diligent as I should have been. Um, it, you know, I don't remember the specs on my 391, but it cuts faster than my 391 does for sure. Um, it feels more powerful. It feels more efficient in hand as well, but it's a lot of saw. And I think most homesteaders would probably be served with something a little bit smaller than this. Maybe the uh, 270 or the 290 series for making firewood on the regular, that would be an excellent saw for most homesteaders. For us, the reason I got this saw is A, don't tell my wife I have a steel addiction. B, um, at one point I made my living holding onto a chainsaw and so I've spent quite a bit of time running saws. And C, we have lots of trees that need to either be trimmed or felled or removed in general and having multiple saws is a good thing so that's why i got the 362 to run around our homestead we have some pretty good sized trees around here in fact this is a pine tree that's right here behind us is about 25 inch diameter pine that's by no means massive compared to a lot of other trees, but for the area of the world that we're in, eastern Oklahoma, it's a good sized tree. And it's got a lean to it. And it still probably needs to come out, but I digress. So this saw, uh, would I recommend it? 
Yes. Would I recommend it for a homesteader? Yes, if you have previous experience with uh, saws and saws of this caliber. Uh, I would not recommend it to somebody who's brand new to running a chainsaw. That you'd probably be better served with like a 270 or 290, like I said. But um, I very much so like it. And one point I'd like to make as well, uh, you know, I'll spin this around. Stand by. The last point I'd like to make is this. Um, many people tend to buy lighter and therefore less expensive saws and they spend more time holding them because they don't have the appropriate power to weight ratio to get a bunch of work done. This is a 14 pound saw as shown. And by the way, I love the factory upgraded dogs on there. That's wonderful. This is a 14 pound ish saw, but it gets a lot of work done quickly. And so I would recommend you go a size or two above what you think you might need because if you're spending a lot of time on a saw, uh, I have found for me, it's better to have a bigger, heavier saw that cuts faster than a smaller, lighter saw that doesn't. Because the overall number of hours you have on a saw is greater with a lighter saw than it is with a heavier saw. Because the heavier saws are more powerful, therefore you get more work done with them. So, I am very happy with this. I love this saw. And I would recommend it if you know how to run a chainsaw. If you don't, uh, I would not recommend this for somebody who's new, but definitely a wonderful saw. Um, big fan, big fan of it. Cuts like butter through that soft wood. And um, I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. Let me know what you think in the comments, Bear Nation. Shalom, y'all.